Many airlines still don't have clear policies in place to accommodate plus size passengers. That's why I've started a petition calling on the FAA to require every airline to have a clear customer size policy in place for plus size passengers. No one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment, and discrimination that often comes with being a plus size passenger trying to navigate yo what's going on youtube it's your boy ycb man and today we have yet another topic video um today's topic video we are going to be talking about jaylen channing i believe that's how you say her name she is a plus size influencer and she is demanding free seats free and protection for larger airline passengers i feel like i have to preface this video a little bit um now, for those of you who followed me for a while, you know I'm not a mean person. Like, I'm not a mean guy. I I don't insult. I don't outwardly just insult people for no reason. Like, I have to have a good reason. Like, you have to be like, you have to insult me, just be a terrible human being, something, right? But I like to come at every subject with, like, a very logical mindset, right? So... I just want to preface this video with that because what I'm about to say may come off as mean and I'm just telling you right now, I promise you, that is not, those are not my intentions. But at the end of the day, it is what it is because what the, like this person needs a reality check, dead ass. Like I, I don't know how else to say it. She needs a reality check. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right. So this is Jalen Channing, right? Um, I actually checked out her content on Instagram and I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's actually some really good content for people who are plus size. And I think that's great. And I think it's good content because she's mainly just like giving out tips on, you know, where you can find clothes, where you can find bigger towels, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that is just fine. But here's my issue. When you choose, because this is a choice, let's be honest. When you choose to be a size 6X, you chose to deal with the shit that comes along with it, okay? This is your choice. You don't have to be a 6X you can lose weight and for all those people in the comments that are going to say oh well what about well, there is me me medical reasons she could have a thyroid problem i'm willing to bet 100k that she does not have a thyroid issue and even when you have a thyroid issue yes it is harder it is harder for you to lose weight but you still can lose weight and you can still be healthy for sure okay my issue with this with what she's saying is that she is expecting the world to accommodate her because she is choosing to be a, a plus size person like we have to accommodate her companies have to spend more money to accommodate her and other bigger people because she's big because she likes food no at the end of the day you chose this so I just, I just really wanted to talk about this because I saw this and I was like, what the, f like free seats? How, how is that fair to the other people? Then I'm being discriminated against. You're giving this person free seats because she chose to be too, because she chose to be plus size. Do I have to be plus size so that I can get a free, uh, so I get a free seat? Now, yes, I know, guys. Airplane seats are uncomfortable in general, and I get that, and I one thousand percent agree. But if your life is that hard, maybe this is a sign for you to make a change. Okay, look, I wholeheartedly agree that no one should be um, discriminated against and and disrespected like just because of the way that they look. I get it, I get it, but. The seats on the plane are the size that they are for a reason. And it's not the airline's fault that you are the size that you are. Because, one more time, you chose to be this size. So, why do they have to 
dish out more money to make accommodations because you like food once again i help help me understand and you say discrimination i just say reality because it if you're bigger you obviously can't sit in a middle seat with two other people you have to either get off the plane or buy another seat two seats together if if they're available because honestly it's just not feasible that's not discrimination you just can't fit and you're making the other people next to you very uncomfortable how is that fair like this is not me even being mean and i'm not talking like shit about her at all she seems like a delightful person okay she could be the nicest person in the world and like i said it seems like she actually gives some good tips for plus size people look i don't care what you do with your life if you want to eat and be big eat and be big that's on you i i could care less okay but when you expect people to accommodate accommodate you based off of your own actions that's where i have a problem she also made this post. Have you ever felt that it was unfair that plus size travel travelers are forced to pay for an extra seat or humiliated for their size while traveling on airlines? I have, and that's why it's time to demand fair treatment for everyone, regardless of their size. It's just not feasible. Sweetheart, I, I don't I, I I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. Because there's no way these companies are gonna dish out more money just because you're fat i'm sorry her caption says imagine the anticipation and excitement of booking a trip packing your bags and arriving at the airport only to be met with discrimination and humiliation because you're because of your size for plus size traveler this scenario is all too familiar but it's time for a change no one should have to pay an extra seat or be forced to endure uncomfortable and embarrassing situations simply because of their size discrimination based on weight is not only unfair but it's also a violation of our basic human rights. Whew. As a community, we must come together and demand equal treatment for all travelers, regardless of their size or abilities. You're not living in the real world, my G. It's time for the airline industry to recognize the harm they are causing and make changes to create a more inclusive and equitable travel experience for everyone. God, Jesus. By signing the petition, we can make our voices heard and send a powerful message that weight-based discrimination is unacceptable. Together, we can make a difference and create a world where everybody... It's not... It's not logical, okay? It's not logical. It's not... It's not even possible. How do you... Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, what, what do you expect? Please, I would love to know. I would love to know a solution that you have like what what do you exp what are you gonna say like how are they if they put bigger seats in these planes that means there are going to be less seats on these planes and they are not gonna do that like what do you what are your solutions for for this issue like what are you even saying right now you can't i i don't know if i were to call on someone to make a change I would also have some goddamn solutions attached to this because right now you're saying nothing. This is not discrimination. So this this is just reality. Like if you can't fit, you can't fit. I can't make you fit. Like and it's not fair to the other people who are beside you who are very uncomfortable because you didn't buy two seats. And yes, I understand. It's very inconvenient that you have to buy two seats. And honestly, depending on when you book your flight, it's probably not even plausible for you to buy two seats. But that's not everyone else's problem. That's a you problem. If you really do not want to deal with the headache of being a plus size person, respectfully, lose some weight. For the love of God, please lose some weight. Because this shit, like, if you can't deal with it, this is just unnatural. Yo, there was one, there was one, um uh one reel that she posted it tripped me out here is a quick plus size travel tip many plus size travelers wonder if they should upgrade to business first class or premium or if they should just book two seats and let me tell you exactly how you can figure out if you need two seats 
or if you can simply just upgrade. So what I did to figure out exactly how much space I would need as a plus size traveler is I sat down in a chair comfortably, I spread out how I would normally sit, and I took a measuring tape across my lap and measured the width. And that is how I determined what exactly I would need. Follow me for more plus size travel tips. Again, for a plus size person, I can understand how that could be a really good tip. But my G, if you have to do all of that just to make sure that you fit in a chair, maybe you need to think about making a life change. Respectfully, I'm not even, again, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's not normal. That is not normal. That you have to take a measuring tape and measure how the circumference of your stomach and all that other shit just because you want to know if you can fit in the chair that is so wild but seriously if you cannot deal with this plus size lifestyle anymore don't blame it on the airlines you need to take accountability and blame it on yourself and guys again i know once again there might be special occasions okay where it's harder for people to lose weight 1000% get it not talking to you you are the you're you're the minority you're not the majority okay I 1000% get it but guys let me know what you think in the comments down below my subscribers who are plus size let me know what you think am I just totally off with this am I if if I am I am down for an, uh, an open discussion a healthy debate like I I'm down. So please hit me up in the comments down below. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe the video. Um, follow me on my social media at watchtv94 and join the Discord as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.